cat. Welcome to Hack Week number 40. It's the Chase a Mouse toy. JFET likes it. <laughs> He's a little bit weirded out by it, but uh, we're having some fun with it. So, um, here we are again. Follow along. I'll show you how to build this crazy thing. It's the Chase a Mouse. Let's explain the uh, the basics behind the Chase a Mouse. This just kind of came to me one day. It might be a fun thing to do. We've got a motor here with a pulley, spins around in a circle, and another one here that's just a freewheeling pulley attached to a wooden plank, and then there's a string that runs all the way around, and it's mounted a little bit under tension, and tied to that string is another little string with a toy mouse, and you turn the motor on, and of course the mouse and the string goes around like this, and Cat Cat will go crazy chasing it. So let's go ahead and build this crazy thing and see how it works. So I think I found a motor to drive this thing. It's a little gear reduction motor. It's out of a Roomba robot. And it was the little uh, the little edge sweeper. It had this brush assembly on it. I'll go ahead and put that back on and power it up. You can see uh, how it works. Pretty, pretty strong gear reduction. I think it's going to be about the right speed with that power supply. And I need to make a pulley for it now that'll go on this hexagonal shaft and I can just put a little epoxy in there and uh, glue it onto the shaft. Let's make a pulley. Okay, I need to make a pulley so I'm going to cut out uh, a round circle with a hole in it with a two inch hole saw. Come through from the other side now. It makes it a little easier to remove from the hole saw that way. See, it's part of it sticking out, and I can just grab it, and pull it out. Well, I've got it mounted up now on a quarter-inch bolt, and I can make it a little bit rounder. Get rid of the rough edges just by giving it a spin here and putting a uh, random orbital sander up against it. There we go, nice and round. Now I need a groove in my saw, so I can uh, just take the drill and kind of hold it up against my my vise here. Take a, a miter saw, hand miter saw, and I can use it to just make a, a groove right in the uh, in the wood. Just let the drill do the work. Pretty good groove started to make it a little bit wider now so that it can accommodate the string. There we go, a little finish work with a round file. Got a nice little groove, homemade pulley. Got some epoxy mixed up here. I'm going to epoxy this onto here. I've got a little bit of oil on on uh, this screw because it's temporary. I'm going to pull this screw out later and then once the epoxy sets up I'll put this screw in to help hold it all together. So where I want to put the epoxy is basically inside the pulley. Really smear it up in there. Make sure it gets into the pores of the wood really well. I'll just go ahead and push it right on here. That's about it. And then uh, pack a little in around the top. Just force it right in there. A whole bunch at a time just to make sure it gets down in there. I need something on the other end of the board for the uh, string to pivot around, to swing around. So here's a pulley I'm salvaging out of this old Craig cassette player the uh, capstan roller and the bushing that goes with it. 
So I'll just take that bushing and uh, it'll sit on there like that and let this thing spin. And I'll take the bushing and just drill a hole and mount it right into the wood. And then that can sit in there. And that'll be my passive pulley for the string to go around. Got my hole drilled. There we go. Drop in the pulley. Voila. Got the pulley mounted up. I need to mount it on the board now. Uh, I've got a hole cut in the board so I can let the motor drop through. A little hole cut there for this shaft where it pokes through. And it'll set just like that. I got this piece of metal that I bent. Just a chunk of metal I had laying around in a parts box of goodies. And uh, that's a lot of what hardware hacking is about. Looking through your piles of junk till you find something that inspires you to to uh, solve the problem at hand. So now I just need to drill a couple of holes in this, stick it on there, and put some screws in. That'll be mounted up. All right, I've got the motor mounted on one end, and at the other end of the board is that uh, pulley that I mounted up. And now it's time to tie together these two ends and put the mouse on it. I'm going to use a double fisherman knot. It's a really good knot to tie two ends together and it stays tight and uh, it locks down a little bit tighter when you pull on the two strings. I'll show you that knot on the Hack a Week uh, website on the project page, the great knot. So check it. And now it's time to tie on Mr. Mouse. So we get to, uh, let's see, find a screwdriver here, poke a hole through his nose. This won't hurt a bit, Mr. Mouse. string through there. He has no feelings because he's a stuffed mouse, so it's okay. No stuffed mice were permanently harmed in the making of this video. And we're going to tie that right through his little nose. Seamus isn't too interested at the moment. Uh, I've got the mouse attached, the string is on, and now I've got uh, a power supply and a switch to wire up. Got this power supply and this switch. I'm going to put it right here. Well, JFET seems to like playing with it when it's not turned on. So let's. Turn it on and see what he thinks here. You ready, buddy? <laughs> Let go. We need to untangle it first. Here we go. <laughs> he derailed it. So that's see, that's part of the beta testing. I think that's my beta tester for cat toys. Back on the pulley. We'll start over again. Ready, bud? Here we go. <laughs> Claw loose. <laughs> I caught me a pussy cat. Well, JFET seems to like it. I'd call it a success. Happy New Year, folks! Till next time, keep on hacking.